This week on Press to Play, we're diving into the world of blues music with a little help from Eric Bibb coming to us all the way from Finland. Also empowering women in arts and entertainment in the city, we have a preview of the Skirts of Fire Festival. Later, our pop culture nut Lee Conrad has his top three picks for the Global Visions Film Festival this weekend. And stick around for our interview with R&B singer Sean Desmond as he gives an inside look of his new movie. Then we meet his opening act, Andrew Lee. She's coming out with a new album this summer. Welcome to Press to Play, your source for everything entertainment in the city. You can really win. Thank you for joining us. The Art and Theatre in St. Albert is another small venue gem in the Edmonton area. Now, if you haven't seen any concerts there yet, you can stick around for our events board later in the show. But they did just recently present a Blues African Fusion concert with Eric Bibb and Habib Koite, two masters of their genres, making sweet sounds as Tim Dancy experienced. Yeah. Eric Bibb is the son of legendary New York actor-musician Leon Bibb. At 61, Eric, long based in Europe, is touring North America with celebrated African singer and guitarist Habib Koite, having created a marvelous hybrid sound. Their friendship dates back more than a decade, but Bibb and Koite let us join them at an art and theater sound check. We're joined now by Eric Bibb, who is an American bluesman living in Finland currently. How'd you wind up out there, Eric? Uh, well, I lived in Stockholm for many years, so I know that part of the world, Sweden, Finland. But uh, my wife is from Finland, so um, we decided we'd go back and check out her roots. Bibb has, in fact, spent most of his life living in Europe. His wife is his manager, and he's been nominated for several WC Handy Awards in areas of acoustic blues. I think you like coming up here, right? It's wonderful. The, the hall is wonderful. The audience up here is really my people. Mm -hmm. Now, you and Habib have an interesting collaboration going because you're an American blues musician and he's, you know, an African musician. It's an interesting combination, isn't it? The, um, the connection between West Africa, particularly Mali, and um, the blues tradition is, is, is um, established. It's, uh, it's uh, a deep connection. And this one of the sound, they like uh, this say the voice, our, our both voice go very well together and the guitar yeah. go well together. It's a good combination. One of, some say, is the best example of meeting of uh, different music from different uh, uh, cultural zone. We got together uh, and wrote um, for about a week um, before we uh, recorded in Bamako. I flew to, um, to Mali from, from Finland, where Habib lives in Bamako, uh, is where we recorded the record. Daniel, can I have a hair more of uh, Habib's guitar in my wedge, just a little bit more? When we uh, uh, recorded in Bamako, which is just one year ago, we recorded uh, in a hotel. Uh, and uh, in the studio, we, we improvise. It started out in Europe actually last summer, uh, sporadically, and now it's kind of uh, picking up steam and we've got uh, uh, a ways to go on this North American lake before we return to Europe. Collaboration has really been um, uh, garnering some wonderful um, response around the world. This is Tim Dancy. Starting March 7th, you'll be able to ignite the spark along 118th Avenue. Skirts of Fire is a festival that empowers, celebrates, develops, supports, and showcases women in theater and other art forms. The fest goes for four days. You'll be able to take in a variety of performances, including hip-hop, improv, spoken word, and magic. Yes, women make fantastic magicians, too, as Dana Giesbrecht finds out in the next story. Do you have possibly any money that I could borrow? I can give you five bucks. When a magician asks for your money, you never know what to expect. But in this case, I was pleasantly surprised when Billy the Kid turned my five into a 20. Wait a second actually changes where the where my five dollar i'll take the 20 but where's the where's the five i got started because i saw a magician do show on the streets and 
I was amazed and I had no idea what was going on and then I got obsessed and that was it. I decided I'm just going to be a magician. Going on six plus years as a professional magician, Billy has traveled around the world to pursue her art, including trips to Dubai, Japan and the UK. Plus, she also has the prestige of being one of the only female magicians working today. But this weekend, she'll be back in her hometown. Billy is one of 80 talented female artists hand chosen by Annette Loiselle to play at the first ever Skirts of Fire Festival. Annette, why did you decide that Skirts of Fire just had to happen? Edmonton needed a festival like this one. Because uh, it was an opportunity to bring women together as artists and I'm I'm in theater and so initially it was it was a thought of you know we, we need a women's theater in town other cities in Canada have them and there's there's a great need for it and but but then as we started talking about it more and more we went well no it's not just theater it's all disciplines mm -hmm. and that's what and then and then things started to get really exciting my, pill, my little white pill my unpaid bill the one who will. Laura Metcalf and Paula Humby of the eclectic folk duo The Duets will also be sharing their art. Say it's not her fault. With their charming harmonies and talent with Tupperware, it's hard to believe that Skirts of Fire will be their first festival platform. Say tell her how you never meant to hurt no one. We play a lot of covers and we're just starting to write our own stuff now, which is super exciting. Um, taking what we like from songs that we love and mashing them into our own words and our own sound. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so we're just kind of figuring out our own sound now. So yeah. you're sampling things you like and, and turning that into your own music. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh -huh. If I switch it twice, uh -huh. nice and still. And for Billy the Kid, there are no illusions uh, when it comes yeah. to the talent here, right? Edmonton yeah. has to I offer. This? I think it's something great to have all these female artists come together and showcase our talents in different venues and different avenues of what we all do and it's just a nice way to go, hey, Check this out, ladies. This is what we got. Well, I don't know. Take you a are look, a magician. Take a look, make sure. Spin, okay. Right? <laughs> yes, please. Do come check it out. The Skirts of Fire Festival takes place March 7th to the 10th on Alberta Avenue. And for a schedule of performances, you can visit their website, skirtsoffire.wordpress.com. For Press to Play, I'm Dana Kiesmark. Hey! <laughs> Once again, you can catch all the performances until March 10th along 118th Avenue. Coming up after the break, we've got an exclusive with a couple of local guys who created a very interesting travel show with a twist. But first, let's take a look at what's new on Shaw VOD. 50 years of James Bond and you can celebrate it with Skyfall starring the strapping Daniel Craig. It actually just won for Best Original Song by Adele. Another Oscar winner this past week, Ben Affleck's Argo took home Best Motion Picture of the Year for the retelling of a true story. You can also check out Flight. Denzel Washington plays a pilot in trouble for operating a plane under the influence. Now, if uh, those three aren't exactly family friendly for you, check out Hotel Transylvania, an animated feature with all your favorite monsters. And finally, Here Comes the Boom is out on VOD starring Kevin James as a teacher turned MMA fighter. More coming up after the break. What are you teaching these kids if you go through with it? What am I teaching them if I don't? I'm gonna be able to do this. You can quit right now. And everything we work for will have been accomplished. Our students, they're inspired. What if I dunk this ball in Mad Who and you have dinner with me at my house? Deal. No, no, that's cheating. Dreams are about to come true.